During my vacation in Belgium, I bought a new analog film camera. This was the Canon T60. Over the time span of two weeks, I shot four rolls of film with my newly acquired camera and after I got back from my vacation, I sent them to my lab to get developed. And after I got the films back, I was extremely disappointed because all of the images were destroyed. Only the upper part of my images was exposed correctly and the lower part of my images was com uh, were completely black. So after talking to my lab technician, they told me that this issue came from my camera and not from their development process. So I opened the camera, checked it and started searching on some camera forums. And after only a couple of minutes of Google searching, I found out that the model that I had, the Canon T60, is one of the models that suffers from mirror slipping. To give you a bit of context, the mirror from the SLR system is only glued in place. Unfortunately, this glue can fail over time and through excessive heat. Fortunately, after I read some articles about this topic, I found out that this issue is pretty easy, fixable and you can even fix it by yourself. To fix the mirror, you only need a hairdryer. This is very important. Please, please, please only use a hairdryer, not a heat gun. Otherwise, you will melt and destroy your camera. To heat up the glue, you don't need a lot of heat and you certainly don't want to destroy the electronic components of your camera. You grab your hairdryer, plug it in, set it, if possible, on a low fan setting and the heat on like a medium stage and then remove the lens from a camera and then point the hairdryer straight at the mirror of the camera but with a bit of distance between the two elements. Hold it there for like 5 to 10 minutes so the glue and the mirror can heat up and after that you gently lift up the, the mechanism and slowly and carefully push down on the mirror until the mirror is back in its original position. Hold it there for like 5 minutes to, um, to allow the glue to cool down in its new position and after that lay the camera on its back and let it sit there for at least 24 hours before you move it or even shoot it. One important information. Fixing this mirror is only half of the story. What I also read on the forums is that this problem not directly occurs from shooting the camera. The problem where the glue is failing has more to do with how you store your camera. If your camera has this issue or even if your camera doesn't have this issue, but it's still the same model, when you store your camera, lay it on its back. Because the mirror is on a 45 degree angle when you hold the camera, when you flip it on its back, the mirror is sitting on downward slope which means that gravity will hold it in place no matter if your glue gets warm through the weather or not. Although it was a pretty shitty experience destroying four rolls of precious film, um, I definitely learned my lesson. Before buying a new camera, always always check the mechanics. And especially if you're buying a cheaper camera, check if the camera has mirror slippage. And to help you with your next camera purchase, I want to tell you a simple but effective method to check if the camera that you're planning to buy has mirror slipping. Make sure that the camera has no film inside it, wind it up, open the back of the camera and then set the shutter wheel to bulb mode. Then press the shutter and hold it. While the back is open, the shutter curtain stays open and you can look at the back side of your lens and of your mirror. And as you can see, for example, if you have mirror slipping, you will see that the mirror won't fall up all the way. I hope this video was helpful for you. You can leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down to let me know how you like my content and I hope to see you in my next video.